Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my new tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create the 8-bit Universal intro from the very start of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Now, I was pretty bored, so, uh, and I saw this on YouTube, so I decided to give it a go, and I created something pretty similar. So, first thing I did was, I got this picture of a world map and imported it into Photoshop. And since on the intro, it's not detailed and colored like this, it's pretty much just a dark blue and a green color. So all I did was I selected all the blue just by using the magic wand tool, and I pretty much separated all of the land from the water. And yeah, so once I did that, I just colored the separate layers and I got something like this, which is a lot closer to the actual thing. Okay, so once we've done that, we jump over into After Effects here, and we import our Earth picture. Alright, and now what we need to do is create a new composition. So, composition, new composition, and we'll make it 720p, and 10 seconds should be plenty. And we'll go 29.97 frames per second. Now, what we need to do is drag our Earth image in, and there we go. Now, the easiest way to do this would be to type in Sphere in the effects and presets and drag in CC sphere and you can see that pretty much makes a globe uh, you can scale it up a bit more if you want about there should be pretty much right and you can see it's got a bit of heavy shading and if you don't want that you can just play around the light settings here to uh, fix it up a bit like that and I'll keep mine like that so once we've done that we need to add a bit of rotation. So this is pretty easy, just expand the rotation options here and you need to choose Y rotation and just set a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch at the start and you can press U to bring it up here on your timeline. Go forward to say 10 seconds and we will do half a rotation, actually three quarters of a rotation, so 270 degrees. And now if we scrub through this you can see it's rotating and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for the globe and the next thing that we need to create is the stars behind it so we'll create a new solid and we'll call this stars and make comp size and OK and sorry if I'm rushing through this a bit it's just a lot to cover and you want to type in fractal noise and here it is down here and drag that onto your solid and we need to change this so it looks like stars so we'll go to our transform options here make the scale about 5 is pretty good and bring the contrast right up and if you hold shift you can uh, make the values go a lot faster than if you just normally drag and then bring the brightness down until you've got the amount of stars that you're after so uh, it's pretty good for me right there so now I've got the earth and the stars and it's all looking pretty good so far and now what we need to do is create the 8-bit look so you can see right now mine is like high quality we need it to look kind of dodgy so layer new adjustment layer now I was playing around with some effects trying to find something that made a good one and we'll just call this pixelate or something just so we know what we're doing and I found this effect called CC Gridlaw and there it is right there and we'll drag that onto our adjustment layer and now there's a few options that we need to change I uh, changed both the horizontal and vertical scale to about a thousand and bring the tile size right down to one and then turn off cut tiles and as you can see it kinda creates uh, that look and you can play around with these and see if you can make something better but uh, it's pretty good in my opinion so now we've got that going and it's time for the text now I'm not going to create 3D text because it's not very good in After Effects if you have a 3D program like Cinema 4D or 3DS Max you could uh, make the text in that and import it but I'm trying to make this all After Effects so I came up with a pretty easy solution just to create some nice looking text uh, the font is copper, copper plate uh, gothic. Bold is the font that I found looks pretty good, similar to it. And I'll just type infuse media, and you can see my text has this uh, goldish outline. So I just pretty much 
did that instead of trying to make it look 3D. And if you want the color code, uh, it's D9C06A. And to set an outline, if you don't know, uh, your normal color is here. Just double click on the one behind it and set that. And mine is a 10 pixel radius. Okay, so now once we've got that, we can uh, try some other effects. I can drop shadow. And just drag that on. Uh, distance zero, softness up a bit. And yeah, opacity 100. And you can just play around with a few effects to uh, get a good look. It's time to start animating it. So the earth comes in from the left and the text comes in from the right. So we'll go forward to about one second and we will bring up our position properties by pressing P for both of these. And then we'll go forward to say one and a half second. So it's about a half a second animation and we'll click the keyframes again and that just sets it to our, the center and then we'll go back to our first ones again and animate our earth off that way oh, whoops got both selected and our text off that way alright and now we can just save this in case it crashes, you don't want to lose everything. And then you want to highlight all your keyframes, and you can press F9, but that will stop my recording. Or you can right click, go keyframe assistant, easy ease. And that will pretty much smooth your keyframes. Alright, so um, if we go through that now, you can see it animates on. And if you want, you can add some motion blur, so we'll get both our layers here. Click that. If you can't see the options there, uh, click toggle switches and it'll go through the two options or you can press F4 to do the same thing. And then you need to turn it on from the composition. So click that up there. And if we go back to say halfway through the animation, you can see it's got quite a bit of motion blur. And the final thing to do would be uh, at the end, the text kind of flies towards the camera. So we'll just turn motion blur off and our stars and our earth just to uh, make rendering a bit quicker. Uh, we'll go forward to say uh, three and a half seconds, so it's a, it stays there for two seconds, but you might want to keep it longer. And we'll go forward to another half a second, make this a 3D layer by clicking the little cube. And then what you need to do is uh, bring the Z position all the way close to the camera. So we can adjust this just a tiny bit. You don't want to move it sideways too much, just otherwise people will notice it. And, uh, move back it this way a tiny bit, and there we go. Now if we turn back on motion blur, and uh, Pass the camera a little bit more and then turn on all our other layers you can see we've pretty much finished so the text comes in and the earth they rotate a bit and then it flies out if you look in the intro the text isn't completely straight like that it's kind of uh, curved around an easy way to do this would get the bulge uh, distortion effect and pretty much bring up the radius of both of these and uh, bulge center we'll move it up a bit to halfway and then bring the bulge height down a bit it's not too bulged so we'll go 0 0.4 and yeah that's pretty much it now the only thing I had trouble with was making it uh, the movement not smooth. If you look at my earth it rotates smoothly and if you look at the original intro it rotates kind of uh, jerky-ish. And uh, the only way I could uh, figure out how to do that without using a lot of keyframes is just uh, render it at a lower frame rate. So maybe 15 frames per second and it'll be a bit laggy. Uh, that's an easy solution, but then the text uh, looked a bit weird. So you can just play around with them. I'm pretty sure you can figure out settings that work. And finally, the reason I didn't uh, put the text below the pixelate was it gets a bit too pixely. 
so I just left the text above it and still looks pretty good so that's pretty much it I hope you learned something I hope it helped and in my opinion it looks pretty similar and thanks for watching if you if you liked it uh, please subscribe because there'll be more tutorials and edits and yeah I'll see you in the next video